Welcome to Bury Vival for Sports Hub's inaugural first podcast. A magnificent evening we've got here, ladies and gentlemen, to watch the Hurricanes. Joining me is the General Manager, Michael Roberts. Michael, you must be thrilled with what's happened here tonight. Absolutely. A, a packed house. Uh, yep. It sold out this morning. Uh, we, we, we've never had that in domestic cricket before, so everyone's starting to get on board the Hurricanes. It's great. Extraordinary driving past here at 9 o'clock this morning. The sold out side out the front. Amazing. The figures are good. Shane's in town. It doesn't get much better than this. It doesn't. Uh, you know, it would have been nice to see Liz. Yeah. Uh, I know a few people would have liked to see her, but uh, look, having him here and uh, having us performing well, uh, we've got a big chase on our hands. But yes. uh, look, it's all about the purple, and uh, everyone's embracing it and making a lot of noise, and that's what it's about. The rush around town has been amazing, and it's seen you've seen people with hats, you've seen people with down the mall with their purple hats, etc. Extraordinary development of how it's gone from state-based cricket last year to the the town-based concept seems to be working in spades. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, and I think a big part of that is the fact that, uh, we don't like to say it, but the fact that the Tasmanian Tigers captain, George Bailey, isn't playing for us. And that was one of the big things about Big Bash, that sure. players can go and play for other cities. And uh, I think that, that shows that it's not just the Tassie Tigers running out again. It's a different team. We've pulled players from Queensland, uh, WA and, and New South Wales. And um, I think we've got a great mix and uh, we're playing exciting cricket. We've got Rana and we've got Travis smashing them all over the place and, and that's what people like. They want to come and see excitement. Interesting you say that, of course, with Jackson Bird, obviously, James Faulkner and George Bailey out here tonight. In the reverse, Travis Bird's come home and he's been absolutely absolute revelation. His form is outstanding. Yeah, well, yeah, there's no doubt that uh, when it first came about, uh, he said he wanted to come back. His parents were still here. He loves Tasmania. Um, obviously, he moved, to back, uh, he moved to Perth. His partner's from Perth, but he moved for up opportunities. And uh, he loves Tasmania. He loves coming back here. And uh, he jumped at the chance. So no doubt the WA uh, people or the Perth Scorchers are probably missed one there. And uh, we're happy to have him. The result here tonight is very important, of course. At the very least, the Renegade game next week becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's probably going to get to the stage where a final, a home finals on birth, be a great result for Hobart cricket. Yeah, look, we started so well, and uh, and I think we've we've put together a team that uh, took a lot of planning. And full credit to the cricket uh, cricket Tasmania people and and Alice Ali De Winter, the coach who. We didn't uh, throw money around at this high-profile player. They've, they've gone for players that can perform, and, and they've, they've done that so far. Started so well, 4-0. Uh, dropped the, the game against the Heat, which was just a nail-biter and, and heartbreaking loss. And um, Depending on how we go tonight, but we, we do need one more win, and uh, then we can get that home semi-final. Well, the boys are going well at the bat. Let's hope we can get them home tonight. Regardless, it's a big game next week at the Renegades. There's another six hit over here. It is all happening here. Hurricanes going well. Michael Roberts, thanks for joining us today. Thanks very much.